But I, I think it's probably a combination of a lot of those things, and we'll start to figure out which ones uh, we need to fix. How exciting is it to get out on the road because you don't play at home for a little while now? Yeah, I think you can get out there and we can really stick together. There's not as many distractions when you're at home. You don't have to take care of your pets or your loved ones or as many things on your day-to-day to-do list, so you can just kind of focus on basketball. Um, I like that. Uh, I like that we'll find out, um, can we travel together? Can we be together that many hours of the day? Some teams can, some teams can't. Uh, but we're going to get tested with four straight, four straight away from here. Uh, the atmosphere here has been great. We're going to miss those fans uh, because the atmosphere in Bud Walton Arena, those first two games, was, was very helpful. Yeah, it's, you know, those are the games you schedule for your RPI. You know, we're going to get their RPI plus the rest of the uh, Big Ten's RPI for the rest of the year. Uh, that is a key thing. You go on the road, you get a little bit of an RPI bump. Uh, but more importantly, just to see somebody else that's uh, at that level. You know, a Power 5 team that's had some uh, NCAA tournament experience in the last 10 years, uh, like us, are going through a coaching change within the last two years and a rebuild. So uh, a chance for us to kind of see right where we stand and, and how we kind of match up with uh, the same benchmarks that they're kind of measuring themselves by, too. You've had practice time with your girls, two games, exhibition game. Where are you at and, and kind of knowing what your girls can do? I, I think we have three roles pretty clearly defined, and I think we have eight that are kind of still in shifting. Um, three kids whose roles have uh, emerged a little quicker than others, probably because of adapting to a, the style of chain, the, the, the play of style of play change. They've adapted quicker. So those roles have identified, but I think we got three of the 11 uh, identified. I think as coaches, we're still kind of messing with rotations a little bit. Um, and we know some, but not nearly enough to, to be comfortable with yet. Uh, but that's part of uh, this build. We talked about your analytics a little bit. And when do you really start looking at those numbers? I know two games in is probably not a good indicator. Yeah, we, we look at them every game. I do think they have some value and meaning at a game-to-game -game basis. I, I certainly want to say that we've played our most effective lineups, the most possessions. We didn't do that in our exhibition game, but we did do it in our in our two real games. So that's that's on us as coaches. We've also been statting practice. Uh, we've been statting every shot, every possession in practice. So I tell you, we've got about 10 games worth of data, and that's usually where things start to become more patterns than just fluke. So um, an, another week or so, and that stuff really has some impact. I don't just go by the numbers. It's one of the resources, one of the tools that I use. Um, but it's remarkable sometimes how uh, accurate that stuff can be. What do you hope to see on Thursday night? Uh, that we can take it on the road. I, I think this group's been really good together. Uh, our chemistry on the floor, there's evidence of uh, kids caring about each other, being able to be a competitive family, uh, the way they huddle, the way they talk to each other, the way they touch each other, uh, the way they talk, the words they use with each other. I, I want to see can we take that and now go into a hostile environment where uh, fans will be cheering against us instead of for us. Uh, I want to see how we uh, can can manage the hotel, manage the pregame meal, manage the extra time together uh, because that's just something we hadn't had any practice doing. Uh, but I want that to translate over to good play on the floor to keep not turning it over. You know, we're not turning the ball over right now, and this is a team that's going to actively try to take it from us. Uh, can we take care of the ball against a team that's really trying to take it from us? Uh, it probably doesn't mean much, but a Big Ten Network game, so you get to, get to play on TV. No, I think it matters. I think there's, uh, you know, that's a that's a recruiting base. That's an area that we can get to in, in our tank of gas uh, mentality. We like to be able to get places within a tank of gas. It's a short flight, if not. Um, I think the exposure is really, really good. We've got a lot of uh, people from, you know, we've got Kieran's from Kansas and Dev's from Kansas, so it's getting a little bit closer to home for those folks. I think being on TV is a huge part. You know what your starting five is going to do? I, I don't yet. You know, we started the same lineup two times in a row, and I'm, I'm normally pretty consistent and don't change that around, but I'm not against doing it if something happens in these next two days. They are a bigger team. You know, they're a little more rugged and a little bit more size to them than what we've had. We've been able to play Dev at the, at the four spot a little bit. A lot of people think we're playing Bailey there, but it's actually been Dev. Uh, we've been playing kind of at the other post spot. So uh, we might make a change if something happens in these next two days of prep. But if not, then we'll just stick with those rotations we've been working on. She has uh, two players who are 6'2", juniors, one freshman 6'1". That's also a young lady was the total uh, freshman player for the Big Ten. Yeah, 6'5", uh, kid. Six, and came in off yeah. the bench. Get a little, 
Concern. Yeah, it's concerned. There's a lot of things we can do between now and Thursday, but get six fives, not one of them. Uh, you know, I don't think Kira's going to hit a growth spurt or Taylor. Uh, so we got to do some schematic things. Uh, I know they're going to try to exploit that. We'll have to have a plan A, plan B, and probably a plan C because they can attack you a lot of different ways. And uh, I've coached against Amy enough places and enough times to know that she's going to uh, she's going to find a, an area that she thinks she can exploit and, and they'll go for it. So we'll have to have several different plans and it'll be a team effort trying to stop their size. Thank you. Thanks, guys. Wow, that was great.